My name's Justin, and this is Pisces Pinting. Okay, so on today's little adventure, we're going to be revisiting um, 3D printed speakers. I've actually got version 5 printed and ready to go together. So um, we'll just jump right into that, and then we'll talk about it after. So we'll cut to montage, and I'll see you after that.
Okay, now that this guy is all built, um, I want to actually talk about the design and then we'll get to listening to it and testing it. So, from what I've learned based on the test I did in the last video, two videos ago, where I compared all the speakers before, is that my speakers were not super linear and they had lots of ups and downs, which to me said that there was issues in the speaker. So I started completely from scratch on this one. And I actually, since I wanted to avoid metal parts, I couldn't actually have a lower plate and an upper plate on my motor assembly. So to simulate having that plate that transfers a magnetic field around, I actually just put magnets inside of the actual um, like motor assembly down here. And so I have my magnets on the outside as well as a stack of magnets in the center to simulate a central pole that the voice coil would actually ride up and down on. Um, I feel that that's going to give this a lot more efficiency and it should be able to do a lot more with less power. So when we do our test with the, um, when we set it at 2.3 volts, I feel that this should actually be a pretty efficient speaker and it should be able to use that energy very efficiently compared to the other speakers. But we will get to testing that and then we'll talk about the results after it's all done. So yeah. Alrighty, um, well, you guys have now seen the results of how this speaker performs. You've seen how it compares to the other speakers. So, I would say that the design actually, it does work, and that it makes more efficient use of the energy inside the speaker. And that can be shown in that it's a flatter response. But I think that I built the speaker too tight and that's why it's not more flat across the board. I feel that if I had to let the speaker freely move a little bit more, it doesn't have a ton of move inside a suspension wise. I feel as if I had to let it move more that I would have actually had frequencies that carried into the lower ranges a little better. And that I maybe would have been able to carry into the upper ranges a little easier as well. So that's probably what we'll work on for the next video is to make a speaker with more suspension inside of it. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys right now. Um, yeah. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. 
um, leave a like, subscribe. Yeah, um, well, I'll see you guys next time.